Okay, here we have a 65 Chevy Impala 9SS 283. Um, this car needs minimal body work. Uh, definitely needs a paint job. As you can see right there, it's got a little bit of a, a rust spot right there. Uh, it's got paint chips, paint chips, scratches. So it definitely needs a paint job. And that's not a secret. It's got a chip there. The body's actually pretty straight on it. It's got some bubbles there, as you can see. It's got some more bubbling there. It's got a crack here, paint chips. It's got brand new uh, foose, foose wheels, brand new tires. Now this car does come with original protecto plate for you car guys you guys will know what that means what that is uh it's a factory ac car it's got tilt steering um let's check out the trunk it's got a good vent plate the interior is actually very nice it needs to be washed cleaned there's Nice interior. Um, let's take a look at the trunk. Trunk is solid overall. I got the correct uh, air filter housing. It does have a couple of tiny spots here. Right there, right there. As far as the rest of the trunk, the rest of the trunk is very healthy. Usually you'll find a lot of rust right in this area here, the water channels. Everything looks pretty good. There's a bubble there. So it's definitely gonna need a little body work. Uh, one thing I can't say about this car is that it runs like a champ. I mean, it's very strong running 283 shifts really good let me put the phone down it's got all the original components to the air conditioner and it actually works but it needs to be charged so that's a bit of a challenge because it hasn't been converted over to the new freon but uh, you can find cans on ebay uh that's about all I can say. Uh, it's got power brakes, power steering. Solid, solid running 283. Uh, we'll start it up. Runs really good. It's got cherry bomb exhaust. Gas gauge works. It's got speakers. Got a radio in here. Oh, I'll mess with that thing. Runs really good. It doesn't smoke. No rattling. No knocking. No ticking. None of that. smoking it's got good power let me turn this radio off it's got a radio in it it's got speakers which they cut out which I don't really agree with but Turn it off. 
Uh, now let's check out the underside. Underside is super solid. There's the frame. This does not have an X frame like 64 and under. So the frame is right along the rockers. Usually they usually they rust out right in here so you got to be careful this one is uh about as solid as this can be floors these are original floor pans and they are solid absolutely solid under here let's take a look at the passenger side same ordeal super solid car underneath so it's an easy project i mean that's about as solid as it get original flooring not a hole in the floors cherry bomb exhaust frame is solid I mean, that's as solid as it gets for an old car that has original floors, original frame, all the body mounts are good. I've actually been driving this one all day today. Top works, goes up, goes down electrically. So this is it 283 i was told it was numbers matching uh, to me that doesn't matter i mean to some people it does i'd have to get my mechanic to come down here and run the numbers on it to me it looks like an original motor so i would say um it is true but there's the Cow tag. Yep. 1965 Chevy Impala. I would call it a project because it needs paint. But I mean, you paint it and that's about it. Um, you'll have yourself a nice car.